said Dodds is the middle. I think he's going to be on next year's opening day roster. I think he is, Gabriel. Yes, I mean, Defensively, he's showing that when he's healthy, he can hit. Um, I'm not going. I'm not going to go over overboard with the three hits that he had last night. It's a small sample size. He's got 109 at bats this year, and he's hitting 275. That's nice. It's 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 really nice. But that's like a month's worth of work. So, how does that translate? But that's not enough to to, to gauge whether his career is going to go through the roof or not. It's not like he's had a ton of home runs like, say, Eric Haas has done. Uh, he hasn't had the opportunity to have the tremendous start to his career, get derailed by a horrific slump, and then come back like Akil Badu had done. Although Badu's not doing too great now, but you know what I'm saying. You need a larger sample size. But he's earned the right right now to this point. I think he almost has to have... He's, he's there next year. He almost has to have two and a half bad months. Like, he has to have a bad September and then a bad six weeks in spring training to not be on the roster. He's the kind of guy that I would, like, <laughs> I would assign a personal trainer to him before and after every game to specifically stretch him out so that his hamstrings don't get tight, his groin, it does. there's nothing to be worried about there. He's got his, you know, his... Uh, his abdominals are, are intact. Everything is stretched out perfectly so that during the course of the game, nothing tightens up because that is what can come and grab him. Now, of course, the occasional crashing into the wall while you're making the catch, you don't want to stop him from making those plays because that's what makes him spectacular and that's what makes him an asset to this team. But he's got to be able to stay healthy. And I'm not going to dismiss him because throughout his career he hasn't because right now he is. He's healthy right now and he's showing what he can do when he is. But it's enticing when you think about an outfield with the talent that Riley Green has. Yep. And, and by the way, Riley Green's doing just fine just, at Triple A. I mean, he is. Riley Green is also a guy that I think is going to be coming north with the Tigers next spring. He seems to be so far ahead of Torkelson, and Torkelson's doing okay. You know, he's still trying to figure out the Triple A level here, but he's drawing some walks, he's hit some bombs, but he's not. The level where where Riley Green is. Riley Green's getting hits every game. He's hitting I think 280, 290 range somewhere in there right now for uh, for Toledo. Again, small sample size, but this has been a really good year for Riley Green in the minors. It's been a good year for Torkelson as well. But Riley Green plays defense really well. And also, see Riley Green and Derek Hill. Badu has got a ton of speed. He can cover a lot of ground out there. Hopefully, he improves his communication skills out there, and he can be an asset. But his arm is nothing special. Um, Victor Reyes, I'm not giving up on Victor Reyes. But he may, yeah, I know I you're out. But I, I mean, every time Victor Reyes is in the lineup, he does something. But he also occasionally makes a, a mistake running the bases, and that's infuriating. And you can't do that if you're like this fringe type player. But Daz Cameron, what happens to Daz Cameron? What happens to Kristen Stewart? What happens to Jacob Robson? I mean, they've got think, all these guys that. that Looks like they're going to run out of opportunity. I think your five outfitters next year are Green, Badu, Hill, Grossman, and Cameron. I think that's who comes north. Maybe. I mean, it could be Cameron or it could be Reyes. You know, or or do you... They keep working out Willie Castro in the outfield. And they're doing that for a reason. Because they, 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 they like Willie Castro. They want to see if they can place him somewhere where he can be on the roster. Because I, I, shortstop is not... For Willie Castro, no, not the major league level. I would imagine that if he's if he turns out to be a competent outfielder and you know 
in terms of his hitting form consistently, you're talking about he would be the fifth outfielder in, in place of Dash Cameron. Um, I feel really good and actually damn confident that the other four are coming north. And it's a little bold to ask because Riley Green hasn't played a major league game yet and Derek Hill has to keep this up and stay healthy. Well, I'm also counting on Derek Hill staying healthy for the next two and a half months of play. <laughs> Which includes the end of this year and spring training. Which is a big if. And Robbie Grossman signed through next year. So he's got all next year. But he's also he's a trade candidate. He just pumped out his 20th home run last night. Yep. So he is a trade candidate. Yep. But I, and look, it's. I said it a couple days ago. I'm sure everybody didn't hear it. I think the era of the Tigers actively not trying to win ends at October 5th or 6th or whatever their last game is. I was I'm curious to try and win next year. I was curious to see if. If August had ended better for the Tigers, like what are they, nine games below 500 or something like that now? Mm-hmm. Had they played better down the stretch, if the bats didn't go silent like they have in the last week or so, and they were only a couple games below 500, and you go into last night, because I believe August 31st was the, the waiver trade deadline. So you still could have made some moves if players had cleared waivers, if I'm not mistaken. Now you can't. It's done because now we're in September. I wonder if they would have done something or, or, or actively tried to, to move some money. Slip through waivers and trade. To, you mean buy? Maybe. Uh, if, uh, I guess if they, if, what you just said is they just, I mean, they, they're not plus. How would they, how, yeah, how would they, how well would they have had to finish? I mean, right now, Cleveland's at five, over 500, they're 10 games out of first. So, I, you know, they don't want to that up. Is it? Yeah, you would, they would have had to be just white, white. Well, even, not necessarily to buy to make the, the playoffs. That's not it. But buy to to find a player that's going to help you bolt it out the next couple of years. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Uh, all right, coming up, the governor is going to investigate how this was allowed to happen. And we'll just get to that at one thirty two. Marsha Anderson, ninety seven one. With BetMGM, anyone can capture that Grand Slam championship feeling. Step on the court with the King of Sportsbooks for a chance to win $100 in free bets when you place a $1 wager on any player to win the big tournament in Queens, New York. Now, if any player serves an ace during the tournament, you'll win $100 in free bets, regardless of your bet's outcome. Just use bonus code GATOR100 when you make your first bet to take advantage of this offer. Sign up now and you'll unlock access to BetMGM's live betting options, hosted on specials, daily promotions, and more. Download the app or go to BetMGM.com and use bonus code GATOR100 to win $100 in free bets if any player serves an ace in New York. Enjoy the ultimate tennis experience at BetMGM. New customer offer, paid in free bets, must be 21 or older, Michigan only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. This excludes Michigan disassociated persons. Get ready. Saving starts with Xfinity. Because when you get Xfinity Internet and Mobile together, you can save up to $400 a year on your wireless bill over AT&T. Enjoy fast, reliable Internet at home and nationwide 5G on the go, included at no extra cost. That means you can connect to everything you love, whether you're a next-level gaming aficionado, an online shopping mastermind, or crushing that research project. So go ahead, stream on all your devices, or video chat from anywhere, and save hundreds while doing it. Because saving starts with Xfinity. Get Xfinity Internet for $20 a month for 12 months with a one-year agreement. Plus, add Xfinity Mobile, and ask how to get an eligible 5G phone on us. And for a limited time, $300 back. Don't miss out. Go to Xfinity.com slash start saving. Call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Internet offer ends 9721 and requires paperless billing and auto pay. Restrictions apply. New performance starter internet customers only. Equipment taxes and fees extra and subject to change. After term, regular rate supply. Savings based on optimized pricing. Actual savings may vary. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and his exact words were, it changed my life. I used to spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to remove tomato sauce from inside our microwave and soap scum off the bathtub. It's like seriously magic. And my secret weapon for cleaning up the kitchen, bathroom, doors and walls, and even keeping my sneakers clean. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, greatest invention ever. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, the unicorn of cleaning. Summer might be ending, but rest and relaxation are year-round. From cleaning mattresses with snow technology to crisp new sheets, Casper's Labor Day Sam has everything you need for a restful night's sleep. Take 15% off select mattresses and 10% off pillows, sheets, and more for a limited time. Whether you're looking for a new mattress, pillows, or even a dog bag,
bed for your best friend. Casper has something for everyone who sleeps. Go ahead, treat yourself to better sleep. You deserve it. Exclusion supply while supplies last. See Casper.com for more details. Brought to you by Capital One Auto Navigator, where you can find a car, get pre-qualified instantly, and see your real monthly payment without impacting your credit score. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms and conditions apply. Find out more at CapitalOne.com slash Auto Navigator. What's up, Michigan fans? Jake Bunch. Comes here this Saturday at the Western Michigan vs. Michigan game with the Win Bed team in 97.1 the ticket. We will get the Triple A parking lot on Main Street with the DJ prizes, food truck, and more. Betting is a team sport. Bet together at Win Bed. This hour is going to be back on to my Mike Pizarro of National Benefit Plan. For affordable life insurance, log on to NBPHealth.com. Oh, 
I completely agree. The fact that there's an investigation underway now, all those players are going to get talked to. We're going to learn more and more and more about this. You know what this feels like, honestly? This feels like somebody put together a travel team yep. and said, and gave it a name. And to be honest, I didn't even blink when I first saw the name. The game was on ESPN Sunday. I had IMG versus Bishop Sycamore, and I realized this made-up school with this made-up, the made-up name was the most credible part about the whole school. Oh, Bishop Sycamore. I just didn't even blink. This is, uh, this seems like a creative writing experience. Christians of faith, 
Actually came up to Birmingham Brother Wright and beat them. That's it. Like two, a couple years ago, three years ago. They played. They yeah, played Rice and they played CC, didn't they? Yeah, I think they played two games up here. They played Rice and they played CC. I, how? I guess. I guess I'd like to know uh, if any of Brother Wright people are listening. How did they well, I don't know. Were they a legitimate school back then? How do you lose them? I don't know. First of all, I don't think they were a legitimate school. I think it was the same deal. They were just called Christians of Faith. We asked that question yesterday. Somebody from Rice, somebody from CC, who played against these guys. How does this even happen? Like, what do you remember about it? I, I think there's a, a degree of accountability for athletic directors and football programs to make sure that they're playing actual high school games against other high schools. Learning institutions. Yeah. Let's go to Bill on a cell. Hi, Bill. Hello, this is Bill. Hi, Bill. Hey, um, I used to coach on East Side Rose Point High School, and I just did a little research, and there's about 18 t shirts, uh, hoodies, and even a rally towel on sale on eBay. And if I think you search a little more in there, I think they even placed one player on the Youngstown State football team. So here's the deal. If, if you are Bishop Sycamore and you're in this pickle, honest to God, you start up a website with your with your gear right now, yep. your merchandise, Bishop Sycamore football. If you're in deep financial trouble, you owe a ton of people money, you have to come up with a school, I bet you could sell thousands of Bishop Sycamore hoodies and T-shirts and hats I mean, this has become America's yeah. punchline. This is their way out of this jam. Even expand it. Make it Bishop Sycamore Stay lacrosse, right basketball, yes. track, and every other sport in the world. This is their way out. Some some smart investor is, is going to help them get out of this mess, if you ask me. And if not, it's a Hail Mary, and they've got no other choice. I don't know how else they're going to get out of this. Because this school and these people owe a lot. There's a felony charge out on the coach for money that he owes people. <laughs> it's, it's just ridiculous, this whole thing. The director. Yeah. So great. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. A college football is back, and FanDuel Sportsbook is making week one even more exciting. Right now, all customers get a risk-free bet on any week one game. That's right. Place any week one bet and get a refund and site credit if you don't win. So there you go. Rico wants to, he's got Western outright. He can get it, all his money back if it doesn't work out for him. Ohio State, only minus 14. Lots of unders in play this week, I would say, in week one. So right now, take advantage of this great offer. Many offers like this are the reason why people love betting college football. And FanDuel is the number one rated American sportsbook app in America. It's easy to use, safe and secure, and there's fast payouts. You get them quick. Just open up a FanDuel Sportsbook app and get started. And new users sign up using the promo code Doug to get that risk-free bet up to $1,000. That's promo code Doug. Must be 21 or older and present in Michigan. Refund issued is non-withdrawable site credit that expires in seven days. Maximum refund, 10 bucks unless otherwise indicated. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem, call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. FanDuel lanes. Sportsbook is the official partner of 97 won the ticket. David Hall from Hall Financial. If you haven't refinanced your mortgage in 2021, you need to call Hall Financial right now to see if you qualify for our no appraisal eight day close. Call today, 248 308 5000, or go to callhallfirst.com. This is Andrew Bogish with an Odyssey Sports Minute sponsored by NHTSA. Every year, children die from being left alone in cars. If you see a child unattended, call 911 immediately. This is my favorite story of the week from college football. South Carolina will start Zeb Noland at quarterback in Saturday's opener against Eastern Illinois. Nolan arrived in Columbia as a grad assistant under first-year head coach Shane Beamer. Nolan was ready to coach after playing at Iowa State and North Dakota State. He backed up Trey Lance with the Bison then started for them in the spring, throwing five touchdowns and six picks in seven games. But Nolan had one year of eligibility left, so when the Gamecocks presumed starter got hurt, he put his pads back on. Who knows how it'll go this weekend. It's a big jump from Fargo to the SEC, especially when you weren't expecting to play. I'm Andrew Bogish.
A child's body temperature rises three to five times faster than an adult's, and leaving a child in a hot vehicle can lead to their death very quickly. Tragically, in 2020, 24 children died of pediatric vehicular heat stroke, and many of these incidents occurred when parents or caregivers simply forgot the child was in the car. Please set yourself reminders on your cell phone or place something you'll need in the back seat so you don't forget your child. Always look for your baby before you lock. Paid for by NHTSA. With Andro, you can enjoy your backyard like never before. Our round-the-clock pest protection gives you the peace of mind to enjoy your great outdoors without a care in the world. Cannibal! Okay, we can't defend you against the splash zone. But when it comes to ants and other pests, we've got you covered 24-7. Find Andro in the insecticide aisle at your nearest retailer. Welcome to Parent Teacher Night. Oh, yes, Miss Garner. If you have one of those airline credit cards, you're probably not earning double miles on every purchase. You're right. My card only gets extra miles on some types of purchases. With the Capital One Venture Card, you earn unlimited double miles everywhere. Wait, but where can we use them? You can use Capital One Venture Miles on any travel purchase. Venture gets an A+. Plus. Capital One, what's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. The Labor Day savings inside the Home Depot means something different once you're back out there doing. For example, in here, it's a wide selection of top-rated appliances. But out there, it's your home running like a well-oiled machine. Order in-store, online, or in the Home Depot app and get free delivery and flexible installation. So you save money and time. Right now, you can save big on a new LG wash tower at the Home Depot. How doers get more done? Modelo Especial is the proud import sponsor of the Detroit Tigers. Text Modelo Tigers 2 to 844-333-121 for your chance to win one of four prize packs with a $250 gift card, a four-pack of Tigers tickets, and cool Modelo Especial merch. Text Modelo Tigers 2 to 844-333-121 for your chance to win. No purchase necessary. Michigan residents only 21 and over. It's 910-2021. No alcohol awarded with cross. Rules at Constellation Brand Sweepstakes.com slash Modelo Tigers 2. Sponsored by Crowd Import, Chicago, Illinois. 97 won the ticket. would like to remind you that when you text the ticket, standard text messaging rates apply. Turn left on 14 miles, then turn right on takes off. Doug Harsh, Scott Anderson, 97 won the ticket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> turn right on takes <laughs> The O-line coach fired the head coach. <laughs> the governor of Ohio is going to investigate. Of course he is. Incredible. In 1.9 miles. This story is just amazing. It's just amazing. Uh, we do have breaking news in the NFL, Gator. The Patriots. Go ahead. What am I about to say? Just, uh, all of Detroit. Just what am it. I about to say? We know exactly what you're going to say. Can we take some texts? Anybody on, on Twitch? <laughs> Breaking news. The Patriots. <laughs> what am I going to say next? What am I possibly, what is it going to be? The New England Patriots have dot, blank. dot, dot. Wham, what wham, what wham, is wham. it going to be? What am I about to say? <laughs> You know exactly what I'm... Uh, t any texters get it? I know they're yep. on a delay. Already, already coming through here on Twitch. Are they? Yep. <laughs> Twitch, yep. Twitch is more up to speed. Than yep, that, yep, 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 yep. You've all yep, got yep, it. You've yep, all yep, got yep. it. Doc Web 03, yep. Boomer 0985, yep. You guys all got it. None special here now, yep. Look, I am dying to see now, right? Now you want to know. Now he's going to Belichick. Yep. This is the ultimate experiment. Can Belichick turn him into a player we're going to go, oh, my God. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what I was about to say, Field Yates put it out on Twitter. The Patriots are expected to sign former Lions linebacker Jelani Tavai to their practice squad per source. <laughs> Tavai, the 43rd pick in the 2019 draft, has plenty of familiarity with Matt Patricia. Chris Burke of the Athletic. immediately <laughs> tweets. Well, Jelani's going to have to put all that weight back on. <laughs> mm. 
and I thought I'd do him a solid. Yeah, give him a chance. Mm -hmm. Are you for Patricia? Yeah. So there it is. In the most predictable move of all time. Now, Quinn's not with the Patriots, right? Quinn's with another team. Is he like with Cleveland or something? Where'd Bob Quinn end up? I didn't think Bob Quinn ended up anywhere. I thought Bob he has no job, right? He's out of football right now. He'll end up somewhere. But no, I think he's. Uh, I think he's. I think he's with Cleveland. Um, da, 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 da. Hey, he's a, a senior executive consultant for the Cleveland Browns. Okay, do you have that video I sent you? I do. Okay, I want you to cue it up to the beginning. Do we have the whole video in for the audio for people to listen? The whole thing? No, just some of it? All right, well, Gator, first of all, Jack Fox, the Lions punter, has put out a video. And what is the video title? Do they have the title right there? Oh, I just, somebody about asking if I can kick. It's a, and Jack it says, Fox, it says, Jack Fox says to everyone asking if I can kick field goals. Here, here's what the beginning of the video sounds like. Okay. Jack Fox, kicker. Ladue High School, Ladue, Missouri, uh, class of 2015. Okay, is that, all right. Gator hit play. He's tried, he's tried to get 35-yard field goals. Now he's trying to 40-yarder. How are they going wide right? Wide right. And, yeah, that wasn't long enough, but wide right. 45. 45 yards? It's consistently wide right. Wide right again? Yep. All right. Next. 50 yards. And where'd it go? That's uh, wide right. Okay. 30 yards. 30 yards. What's this one do? That one wide right. Yeah. <laughs> Next one? 35. Yeah. Ah, just wide right. <laughs> so I think his head goes to 40 yards wide right. He's getting so down on himself. Dude, then he goes, the last one he goes and reaches to touch his foot because he hurt his foot. He tried eight field goals in this video and missed them all <laughs> wide right, and almost all of them landed in the exact same spot. He's awesome. <laughs> the fact that he has this video and puts it out, I think it's great. No adjustment made. No. Just <laughs> same spot every time. We have tweeted it out now, so if people follow us on Twitter, Twitter at Doug Gator 971, you can see it for yourself. Jack Fox's high school. Was it L Ladue? Is that what the name yeah, is? High school? Ladue, Ladue yeah. High School? So there's a reply on, on Twitter yeah. from Joe. Yeah, it says, Jack. I don't want you to think I'm telling you how to do your job, <laughs> but have you ever considered maybe aiming more to the left? Uh, hey, this is eight kicks wide right, and they all land in the exact same spot. Shardy McDennis says, "Field goal's in the wrong place. If it was five feet to the right, then you would have hit every kick. If you put the just move the goalposts." <laughs> Brad says, "Bro." Please, just aim to the left. <laughs> oh, you got to see it. Uh, we tweeted it out at Doug Gator and I someone, so you can check it out for yourself. Uh, we <laughs> Welcome in, Mike and Rico. Hello. What am I missing here? The Jack Fox highlight video of him oh, trying yeah. field goals. Evan's out there watching it. <laughs> it's great. I mean, it's Every funny because he's like, yeah, stop asking me if I can kick. The answer is no. <laughs> His distance is there. It's just every kick is wide right, right to the exact, the exact same, spot. same place. It's like maybe, you know, it's maybe like if not. You're, if you're a golfer and every every shot you're taking goes in the exact same spot, maybe aim a little differently. <laughs> Did you also, were you guys privy to the breaking news? Um, who the Patriots are, are, are going to sign? Oh, what? Oh, who, who would you predict that the Patriots are going to oh, sign? Yeah, we just, I heard it. Did I you? didn't. Go ahead, please. Well, wait, wait, wait. Who, who would you, do you think, think that the Patriots would sign like today? Would they bring Kevin Hogan back again? The lacrosse kid? No. Yeah. All right, just somebody, think please. Local. Think local? Yeah. yeah. What think makes it? What's totally I'm like Brad. Yeah. Oh, Tavai. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for the Pro Bowl run now. Now Tavai is going to be able to move his legs. It's going to be a festivist miracle. In the last hour, okay, in the last hour, Tavai... Signs with the Patriots, and we're all like, "Oh, Pro Bowl run." Mm. Rashad Perryman signs with the with the Bears, so we're like, "So he'll catch two touchdown passes from against Justin Fields against yeah. the Lions." Yeah. That's how we're programmed. New era, though, man. New era. 
Yeah, you say that, and then you look at Sewell's preseason, and I'm just like, I don't think it was that bad. I don't want this to happen again, please. I think I think Sewell had an off. He gave him an awful sack in the first game, and everybody looks and, and will freak out about it. Look, it's a learning experience. That was the first game. He got beat on another one where the the left tackle gives up the sack, but Sewell clearly got beat on on the other side. But if you watch his run blocking. He was dominant. So He's he a was steamrolling guys. I mean, there's a lot to like, and yeah, there's things to work on, which I'm is scared. fine. I have PTSD from Okuda. And I, I, was about to say, I think it reminds people because last year at this time you heard, well, it's just preseason, and Okuda, when the season rolls around, right, sure. don't worry about it. You'll, like, you'll I'm desperate in. for it to work. You know this. I love, yeah. the, I, lo I love the pick. There's no issue. I just... Man, well, like, and I know Rieger got to me with it. He's like, oh, PFF's worst graded player, buddy. And you're like, oh, no, not this again. <laughs> well, like, that's not this again. Exactly. I have a problem. Do you remember the, the swing pass to Amon Ross St. Brown that got blown up right away? Mm. And I think it was Darren Fells chipped the defensive end and then rolled out to be a lead blocker. The, the guy, the defensive end that he, that Fells just chipped and then went out, Sewell was the next to pick him up. And he wasn't anywhere close to him. And I'm like, is that on Sewell or is that on Darren Fowles? It's the hardest like position to grade. Yep. It's, it's, there's no question. So and I don't treat PFF as like this irrefutable gossip. Yep. It's but tough. when someone earns, like last year, when Okuda was 106 of 106, okay, we're just going to establish you're, you're definitely not good at not, football. Not a good, that, not that a good yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. But like, so, I, you know, no, I don't, I don't do it with some people. It's like with analytics, I'm not going to make it utter gospel that's beyond repro there are certain things you can discuss so like i know hey week one we just got to watch and hope and pray because I, I lived this with the giants last year andrew thomas looked like a garbage can in preseason oh wait it's a garbage can in the regular season yeah i do not want that no here. and and penny Sewell has now played almost the equivalent of one entire game's worth of snaps right almost so you know, that he sat out last year. This Live is fire begins in, what, 10 days? Yeah. Whatever it is. So, yeah, no, I'm with you. But, like, it goes along with what we're opening with. It's a lot like, what What are you willing to live with? The Sewell thing, it resonates because we're going to do college football edition of, hey, Michigan and Michigan State fans, don't worry about what we think. What is the minimum you are willing to live with this fall record ones? And if you want to add caveats to it, you can but what is that bare minimum before you go F this? Okay, so the, <laughs> that gets you in watching the whole season, every game, and you're willing looking forward to next year. Right, and you're not happy, but you're not, you are, you're, you're realistic. You're not ready to just chuck all right, your gear. Right, yeah, because you're out. accepting of what has taken place, and you go, you know what? It sucks, but I can see. Neither, neither, neither fan base should be expecting, right. based right. upon the roster, who like should be right. expecting. Nobody's going to see a trophy in no. Indianapolis. No. I just, I need six and six. I'm I need here. Mel Tucker to show that he stopped the bleeding the from light. Mark's Turn evil right work, and we are at least turning this thing in the right direction. Six and six. I'm right. with you on six and six. Seven and five, I'm happy. Eight and four, I'm, I'm, it's cartwheels. Uh, Over the moon. Right, but six and six. So, like, what is, what would you, what's the my minimum first, you should be accepting? My first of? thought with Michigan is eight and four, but I'm not even sure. Like, I, this is my first thought. Eight, eight and, and four have, and competitive versus OSU. Well, that would be a change. No, I'm just saying. You could, here's, here's the thing. <laughs> Basically, as long as Don Brown, who had some great success, but was but had one gear. Have you heard about crossing routes? Yeah. One gear. Show that you can slow their offense? Because this, I don't think this roster. Now, if they bring back this roster intact the following year, go 84 and give Ohio State a headache. Right, you yeah. So you get where yeah. we're going with it. Yeah, I get where you're going with it. What, like, because everyone's like, well, what do you think? No, no, don't worry about what you think. Sure, yeah, no, I understand. What I mean, can you live with here where we're just not, like, apoplectic? Like, we know the Lions are going to be terrible. There's no number for them. Yeah, and this is disappointing for where Harbaugh is in his career, but where they are, th that would be something that would happen. But seven and five. That seven and five starts to, to bear yeah, the line. Yeah. Okay, that's the line. And, and if you're Michigan, it depends who they lose to at seven and five. Yeah. Oh, if he loses to Mel Tucker, trick or treat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah that, that won't go over well. It's like already gone over. But two of the losses are MSU, OSU. That was the referendum loss. I think that was the end of the Don Brown era last year. But I, I stay safe, everyone. Treat each other respect. Nice, someone. Even pay for that dream home renovation. If you're looking for banking that really brings it all back.
back home look no further than Community Financial. Find out more at cfcu.org or stop by one of our 13 convenient locations. That's cfcu.org. Federally insured by the NCUA. Equal opportunity lender. And anonymous 440274. Tailgate is back for a full season with all Lions home games. It's the Lions VIP Tailgate, just three blocks from Ford Field. Go to BullseyeEventGroup.com for Lions VIP Tailgates. All you can eat food by Detroit's very own Chef Tate Williams and Food Network Chef Aaron May. All you can eat and drink for three hours before kickoff for all Lions home games. BullseyeEventGroup.com offers indoor climate controlled lounge seating for a VIP tailgate experience. Go to BullseyeEventGroup.com for tickets today. DraftKings Sportsbook. An official sports betting partner of the NFL is giving all new players a can't-miss offer for week one. Bet just $1 on any NFL game during the first week of the season and receive $200 in free bets instantly, no matter what. You heard right. DraftKings is giving all new players $200 in free bets instantly when you place a bet of $1 or more on any week one game. Head to the DraftKings Sportsbook app now to check out all the great promotions and daily odds boosts. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code 971 the ticket to receive $200 in free bets when you place a $1 bet on any week one game. That's code 971 the ticket for a limited time only at DraftKings Sportsbook. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services Gambling Disorder Helpline at 800 270 7117. 21 and over, Michigan only. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for full terms and conditions. Protect your yourself from the COVID variants by getting fully vaccinated. Discover the vax at michigan.gov slash COVID vaccine. Last year, 97 Starting route to 1905 North Hamlet Lake Drive. 150 student athletes who needed to follow up with a cardiologist. 2.5 miles. Have Turn right heart. onto Middle Town Road. Your child checked. Contact the Ernst Cardiovascular Center at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. WXYT FM and WXYT HD1 Detroit. An Odyssey station. Sports headlines all day, every day. From the Soul by Mike Z Sports Desk. This is 97.1. The ticket. Good afternoon. The Detroit Lions claim kicker Austin Siebert off waivers from the Bengals and wide receiver Kadero Hodge off waivers from Cleveland. And they add former Washington quarterback Steve Montez to the practice squad. The 24-year-old former undrafted free agent has never played a down in the NFL. They also add former Viking tight end Shane Silstra to the practice squad along with undrafted free agent wide receiver Sage Surratt. Former Lions lands in Denver and wide receiver Prashad Perryman signed by the Bears. Meanwhile, Alan Holler is the new AD at Michigan State. He replaces oh, the recent oh, part of the oh, league. The oh. 50-year-old had been deputy AD and was instrumental in the hiring of both Mark D'Antonio and Mel Tucker. Michigan State opens the season as a three-point favorite Friday night at Northwestern. Tigers host the A's against Atlantic America Park. 7-10 right here on 97-1. The ticket will be prompt. The pitching for the Tigers, who are now 62-71, having lost update desk. I'm Jeff Lesson. For more 97.01 The Ticket or Odyssey.com.
I may or may not have purchased an app state mini helmet. <laughs> shuffle not okay but five and seven but knowing the final three games we found out that this guy is the guy 